Right, it was Friday, so it's time for another care video. Today I'm focusing on Philium sycophilium, which is leaf insects. They fall into the same basic care as stick insects, but I'll go into more detail about that anyway. Before you say anything as well, I do have a lot of bum fluff on my face, and don't you worry, I will be going for that Mac 3 as soon as I'm done with this video. Hashtag ritual have a baby face. Right, so we're going to jump straight into housing for them. What you want is something with a lot of ventilation in it, cross ventilation is vital. Uh, something like a nest enclosure or a tub where you've gone stab happy with a soldering iron. Feeding them couldn't be simpler. They live on things like oak, uh, rhododendron and bramble. Bramble is probably the best and easiest to get all year round no matter where you are in the UK. Everyone everywhere has seen a bramble plant near their house. Myself, 15-20 feet from my front door, hundreds of bushes of them. Just go out there, snip a couple off. What I like to do is I get a pot with a lid, I make two holes in the top, rip off the leaves at the base of the stem, push them through the holes into water which is in that pot. That basically makes the plant live for at least five days longer than if you put it in there with none at all. Uh, in the bottom I like to put things like kitchen roll, you can use vermiculite or cocoa fibre, you're going to need things like springtails in there as well though because they do poo a lot and it will mould quite quickly. Temperature and humidity wise, you want to keep them at about 18 to 22 degrees, so room temperature is perfect for them. Uh, you're best off doing things like a, a small mist once a week on the leaves, never directly on the insects themselves. Uh, they'll drink from that, but obviously too much in that small enclosure will build up a lot of mould. Size wise for the enclosure, you want to take into consideration the size of the insect you're getting. It's, it's the same basic principle with any insect you get you need to have one that's adequately sized. So I've got five that are about that big in size and they're housed in something about that big. It's a big square enclosure, it could be taller, probably better to be taller given the amount that's in there. Uh, but they do well in that for now. Uh, basically when they molt they'll drop straight out like any other invert from the bottom of the leaf so they need space for that. Uh, as they get bigger they will be upgraded to a much larger enclosure which I'm yet to build. Um, I'll probably use basic things like um, MDF or plywood and just some insect mesh, staple gun all around it, like a nice big one, it'll be pretty awesome I'll definitely show you a video when I do that. Right, so handling these guys anyway, uh, they're very 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 fragile and I can't stress that enough. If you go and pick one up, you'll rip the legs off. If one's half on your hand and you decide to lift it, you'll rip his legs off. You literally have to put your hand near it, it'll probably reach out. It'll put its front legs on you, wait until it's got all of them on before moving your hand away because honestly you'll rip their legs off so easily. They're a very fragile insects as I've said hundreds of times now, uh, so you've got to be really careful when handling them. Sexing them can be easier. Females, once they reach about L3, so the third or fourth molt, uh, a female will have an almost rounded tip on the abdomen whereas a male will be more pointed. Uh, I'll show you examples of that now. Right, so this is the male anyway, and as you can see he's got a very pointed shape to the abdomen. 
Uh, I'll show you a female now so you can see what I mean by rounded abdomen. So anyway, yeah, that's the female. As I was saying, you know, she has a very rounded shape to her abdomen. And you can tell the sex of these, as I said earlier, from like L2, L3. Uh, and get yourself a nice nice ratio. I've currently got three female and two male in mine. Uh, I'm just waiting for them to get a bit bigger and then hopefully they'll have lots of fertile legs being dropped all over the place. Right, you just finished watching that video and I really hope you enjoyed it. I put a lot of time into making it and it would be great if you could show your support by hitting the like and subscribe button at the bottom of your screen right now.